Garang Assam is the spicy Balinese translation of classic chicken soup. Here to show us how it's made is William Wongso at Kamandalu Resort and Spa in Ubud, Bali. The key to this spicy soup is the Wangian spice mix. Well, my name is Igusti Nyoman Agus Yadnyana, and now I will guide you to learning about Balinese cooking in here. Agus is the son of one of Bali legendary chef, traditional chef, Pak Darte. It's an old friend of mine, but luckily, Agus can inherit uh -huh. your dad Balinese specialty, right? Yeah. So let's let's see so. what you want to do today. Okay, well, now I want to make it um, Balinese soup, what we call it, garang asam. Ah, garang asam. You have to be very careful when you mention garang asam. This is garang asam Bali. Because in central Java, there's another type of garang asam. It's totally different thing. It's more, not as soupy as this one. Let's see. In central Java, they use different spices. Okay. So what you, what? Uh, this is um, diced chicken. chicken. Yep. Is it you breast. cook only chicken with this? Oh, also a duck. Maybe. Or you can cook duck. Yeah, you can cook a, what else? Uh, no, just duck and duck, chicken. Duck? Yes. But you can do the beef rib. Very good. Or pork rib too. No problem. Okay. Okay. Put that one. Ah, again. This is oh, for the sour. Is yeah. tamarind. Tamarind. Okay. Oh. And this one yes. is a fried trasi or fermented shrimp. You're not using that uh, basa basa not ganap? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. Salt. Salt. And then, or oh, you you mix. Yep. They, 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 they tend to like to mix because I believe when put everything separated, it can be created different things. But when you mix together, it also create a different flavor. And of course, what I see here, he wrap the spice, the basic, the, the salt, the shrimp, fermented shrimp and tamarind paste wrap into the chicken. Mm -hmm. That's it. How long you leave it here? Like right. this? And half hour. You, you do it half hour? Yeah. And then you cook, you put the spice? Uh, yes. That's it. Okay. Yep. So what else you, you now put in? Now the... Again, remember, basa ganap. The complete basic spice paste. When you do basa ganap, mm -hmm. you chop or you ground? I chop it. Only you chop? Yes. This is another version where they believe they chop everything fine. And, also and then can, you stir fry? Uh, yes. With what kind of oil? Uh, coconut oil. How, who doing the coconut oil? Um, you buy? Yes. Or you don't make it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, when his mother doing it, he must yeah. he make her, your mother make herself. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a basa ganap. What else you put in? I forget. And this? This is for wangen. Ah, this is the, the wangen. Remember the roasted wangen, the Balinese fragrant spice. How much? Um, Enough? No. One, one, More? Oh, that's it. Enough? Yep. Okay. Mm. You have a... You, you, you smell like a, you, you roast meat with some ginger with some it's a combination of uh, of uh, of uh, aroma all right then you, you still keep it half an hour with this uh, yes okay then. and don't forget if you don't have this this called uh, indonesian bay leaf or down salam you can change with your bay leaf or l'oreal mm -hmm. and then i need what else lemongrass oh lemongrass okay you do. Oh, thank you. You you break the lemongrass. You put inside. Yep. Okay. Just do it like this. Instead, you don't have anything mortal to smash. Just uh, put it inside. Then, uh, what so else? We have about simbukan leaves. Ah. Sorry. This one. This is very naughty leaf. <laughs> this is very naughty leaf. And I forget to put in um, palm sugar. 
Sorry. Palm sugar? Yes, that's it. A lot of palm sugar? Uh, no, a little bit. Just a little? Just a pinch. Palm sugar, and then mix it, and then pour in water. Oh, let me help you to pour oh. the water. Thank you. Clean your hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then... You boil it? Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just to make sure when you boil chicken or whatever, do very gentle fire. The soup is ready, right? Yes. You don't have to 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 boil the soup until like I always say you when you boil cooking with boiling soup like this with the meat inside you don't have to cook like a tsunami you know bring the boil like that you know it's mm -hmm. shrink the meat and become make the meat uh, less tasty let me taste this is this is a garang asam was supposed to be some people like more sour then you can squeeze some lemon or you want uh, some more tamarind you can but one thing just to make sure when you cook uh, soup with mixed spices you can use this but when you do a clear soup you won't have a taste of sour you don't use this because it's just make your soup brownie and doesn't look nice you can use lemon juice